Genesis at 2021 when Asby One was there. That's right, yeah. I was uh, 200 feet to the left of that pop-off, and it was loud. <laughs> All, All right. right. Gonna go. Gonna again, go here's here's the stage thing again with Goosey. Mm -hmm. Why? I wonder why he's doing that. Like, you have bands. Like, I don't... Just what ready to scrap, man. Okay, I mean, I guess they're gonna end up at Tower anyway. <laughs> All right, yeah, that was a strange interaction. But we end up at Tower regardless. Here we are. And immediately, immediately starting out with uh, <laughs> both players getting a bunch of percent. Yeah, just um, just swinging at all at all times. Yeah, I'm I'm interested to see. Um, so we've seen Kuzi really really excel with the raster when he's able to find the whiff on his opponents, mm -hmm. right? It feels like Soul Rifle plays in such a way where he's kind of always hitting a button, but all, like in pretty safe ways. Yeah, in the smartest way possible. Exactly. So it's gonna be kind of difficult, I think, for Kuzi to actually find what he's looking for. Ooh, DI really far out on that back air, burning all his jumps. The tether near, not quite going to do it, but we have no jumps on Kusi. The good old wall jump back air, going to do it into an up air yeah. clap conversion. It never stops. So 118 now, going to clean it up, 0-0. Zero, zero. And it's just kind of what you expect, right? These are two, uh, I would say these are two kind of like welterweight boxers in their own, right? You know, yeah. there's going to be a lot of punches thrown. It's going to go long. You're not really going to see that true knockout punch where somebody's just going to dominate the other. Um, I just feel like this just has a game five written all over it. Yeah, these guys are two uh, forces of nature for sure. Oh, man. 89. Yeah, that that's the thing you love to see if you're in the maple. You've got a raster here. You find that raster in one of your rap combos, you're going to kill him so early. Especially on this stage, too. Already on that platform as well. Yeah. Beautiful And stuff. back again we it's go. Zero, zero. Back and forth, dead even this whole time. Okay. Nice. He's in the iframes there. Ooh, good return there from Soul Rifle. Kusi trying to scope that out. Oh. Didn't quite get it. Okay, that down tilt to the left side of the platform. Actually, so incredibly smart. I'm a little disappointed it didn't actually land. Oh, using the disjoint on that back air to make it back. Went for the up clap. That's not where he is. Nice back air again. Finally gets the mark back on. So this is where things get tricky for both players, right? We're kind yeah. of a neutral win away. No. All right, Sego popping off. Yeah, <laughs> he's so loud. I love it. Ooh. Okay, is that wall jump back here for the, the, the second or third time in the set? Nice jab. It, yeah. Oh, just up. barely. I feel like I feel like there might have been a little bit of a DI there that Soul Rifle could have maybe avoided that clap, but... Uh, you would have had to go, like, really up and hope he didn't catch it, I guess. Yeah. It, like, he had the slipstream, and that's the thing about Raster. Mm. If he has the slipstream and you can execute on it, you're probably just going to hit it no matter what. Mm -hmm. Like... You had to DI out to get out of that situation if he didn't have the slipstream, right? But because he did have it, even DI out isn't very safe. So I, I'm honestly not sure if there was like a super reliable way out of that. So we see Ethereal Gates as the second round here. Not a huge surprise. We've seen Kuzi, or excuse me, we've seen Soul Rifle play on this stage a bunch. Yes, I think this is uh, definitely a stage he uh, he excels on. Um, it's interesting for Raster because like. You have to account for the the normal, or it's not normal plat height, right? Mm -hmm. So some of the stuff he does to like anti air, or like to put the the slipstream at the perfect plat height where it covers the ground and the the platform, yep. you can't really do that here. So um, I think this is a, a pretty smart counter pick from Soul Rifle, but Kusi making it look like it doesn't even matter. A minor note there, I really like the the wall jump away. We saw Kusi just do because Soul, Soul Rifle was kind of going for his very oh butters over there in the corner and was able to actually avoid the offstage maple nonsense and kind of keep this advantage stage going. Yeah, keep it going he has, because uh, he has not stopped. He took that stock and like, went right into the next one. Mm -hmm. All right, finally, Soul Rifle stopping the pain at 78. It is what I would have said if Kusi didn't immediately pick it up off the Angel platform. As soon as those iframes came down, he's like, all right, I'm going to go ahead and keep hitting buttons. And that is not going to be a stock. Excuse me. Soul Rifle, very, very careful with that air dodge. Yeah, you just, you just got to be. Oh, man. Every time one of them gets a lead, it just 
e evaporates. That was so cool! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> that was gross. <laughs> you know, the back air into the lily, into the fair? Like, how do you even think of stuff like that? Clearly, Kusi was not thinking of it either, because that DI was out there. Yeah, that he, he DI'd. Uh, yeah, that might be right it there. No, great, great DI there from Kusi. Yep, going for the back air up uh, a B, but uh, Kusi knew better. Beautiful. All the beautiful. 93% dinos. Yeah, that's the thing, but it's still Maple at zero, and we've seen Kusi lay on the pain. There is no mark here. We've used the double jump, and we're back. Okay. To the nuke we go. Every time that Lily comes out, it's getting parried, but uh, he's just he's putting it out every time it's available, so he's getting so much use out of it. Tricky stuff there from Kusi. Really looked like Soul Rifle had a game plan there, but Kusi just barely snuck out. Ooh, there it is. Yep. Tether fair. We are 1-1. One, one. I think it's like you said, I smell a game five yeah, coming on. This, this is this is going long. This is going long. And not in the Kusi Julie way. I mean, listen, the, the night is still young, Dinos. <laughs> Imagine. Kusi's got a crag, right? Imagine. <laughs> They both go crag. And just yeah, that's true. Soul Rifle's crag is pretty good too, actually. Mm -hmm. Oh man! All right, Jules Veil, ban. Rock Wall, ban. Fire Capital, ban. Spirit Tree, we go. I I don't know how I feel about this. I think this is really good for both these characters. I feel like this is Kusi saying, "I'm gonna get you." Like that's what I feel like yeah. is happening here. That's fair. Yeah, you leave a lot less room for Soul Rifle to actually DI out of your confirms. Mm -hmm. So that's probably what he's looking for, and uh, uh, probably why Soul Rifle banned the uh, Rock Wall. He, he recognized that's what he wanted. Yep. That is going to be enough, though. Soul Rifle with a pretty strong stop. 40%. Yeah, Not out of the uh, woods. That's a nice lead, but we have seen they just disappear. Not Leaves out of the woods. Don't exist. Not out of the woods. <laughs> See, I told you, Kusi's magical. He makes your lead disappear. Oh, man. Nice. <laughs> Good chunk of damage off that, Dude. too. My goodness. Every time Soul Rifle gets a hit, I just see some of the most insane combo routes I think a Maple could dream of. Yeah, it is always fascinating when you get to these top levels and you see, like, the mastery of these characters. Yes, absolutely. Especially, like, these are two characters that are, like, pretty hard to pilot sometimes. Uh, yeah, great, Harry. Knew the down air was coming. He's been doing that a lot, where he'll go for the triangle, uh, triangle land. <laughs> or triangle dash onto the platform. Triangle land would have worked, I guess. Yeah. And then going for the down air flat drop. Not quite the sweet spot there. Maybe catches it. No. Ooh. Okay, here's the parry. Here's the follow-up. Misses. He gets low profiled by the dash attack. Nice recovery here from Soul Rifle. Kind of just taking advantage of these situations, right? I can hit you a couple more times. I can get a little bit more damage. And I mean, really, the way the Soul Rifle has been playing could also just close out the stock. And yeah, like just like that. I really like um, something we've seen Soul Rifle kind of accomplishing where no one else really has. Mm -hmm. um, Kusi has been getting so much off of these edge guards, and it feels like Soul Rifle has come back almost every time. Yeah, it's it's one of those things where we haven't seen him finish his speed, right? Yeah. I mean, you, you said it pretty clearly there. We haven't quite gotten to the point where, you know, we feel comfortable saying that, okay, we can go ahead and get a little bit of an advantage here, a little bit of a lead. But, I mean, Kusi can still flip that switch, you know. Leaves Rockwall open this time, and yeah, this kind of feels like soul, uh, a Soul Rifle confidence pick. Or, I think so. I, I, I wonder if it's like he saw something in Kusi's game plan, and he was just like, I don't think it's a problem anymore. Yep. Yep, I think that's exactly what it was, because left Bandit first round, did not ban it this time, just said, okay, whatever Kusi could do on here that would be able to outdo me, I don't think he's I don't think he's got it in him right now. Yeah. And Soul Rifle is definitely proving it right now. I mean, he is just he's he keeps striking first. Like even though Kusi is striking back and getting these stocks, mm -hmm. it it feels like whoever has gotten the first one is just is just the guy that wins. Oh my, what a call with that uppie. Thanks for coming, Kusi. Make sure you put your coat on before you go back to Canada. <laughs> yeah, Soul Rifle uh, saw that uh, Kusi was trying to rush through all the stage like stuff, and he said, I'll get you out of here real quick. I got you, fam. Okay. Oh, never mind. Not that fast. That's how it starts, though. That's how it starts. Especially on Rockwall, man. That's you never especially know. on Rockwall. Just nowhere to go on this stage when you get hit. The actual stage itself is huge, but you have these platforms 
bird off of, and then you get to the actual edge of the stage and you're like, oh, if I go any farther, I'm just dead. Ooh, trying to catch some plat movement here. We've kind of slowed the game down a little bit. I think that's really smart from Kusi. Yeah, just trying to win neutral first. He just gets that. Oh. oh. He didn't go for the upstrong. The upstrong was going to guarantee kill there. Yeah. I wonder if that's. I, I, I don't know. Because we saw it kill at 89, and he was already at 90 at that wrap, so. Yeah. The math didn't map there. Still, All right, there still. It is. Yeah. Very that's nice. 3 1 from Soul Rifle. And you know what? Not even a pop off because he knows the true battle lies ahead. Yeah, you don't want to burn that energy just yet. We do exactly. have a, we do have a little bit of a wait in front of us. It seems like because uh, Cake and Sego has gone five. 